everyone and welcome to part 5 of my Vindictus Let's Play. On the last video, we finally managed to complete Season 1, Episode 1, The Crimson Blades. So just a quick recap, the drama continues between Merrick and Keegan, even though he has not even made friends yet. Loki though, Merrick's being a shitty friend for feeling some type of way over his quote-unquote best friend's accomplishments like okay i understand his predicament but eating on someone isn't really gonna solve it bro that's all he ever talks about just hate her anyway in another news the gnolls are now officially our enemy we didn't succeed in killing the red gnoll the first time so we're supposed to go back and take care of him for good but sarah feels like we don't need to attack again because she said it seems like the gnolls don't really want to fight anymore. On the other hand, Gwyn disagrees and of course, she had to talk all that shit too. Although Captain Aiden did agree with her in the sense that we need to finish what we started. So once we reach level 17, we're going to do the battle quest, Red Runes. I'm with Sarah on this though. I don't think we should attack again. I think it's a bad idea. We really should just keep our eye out and investigate further. I think the gnolls could be an ally. Because I feel like they actually might have beef with the Fomars. Because why would they leave in the first place? And when they did leave, they were at peace with the humans. So yeah. But for now, under the orders of the Royal Army, we are to search the Horfrost Hollow for some stolen document that apparently originated in Fobello Prairie. So, our current mission is to complete the battle quest Horfrost Hollow, and we also have Shayla's side mission, which is to obtain this axe from the boss of Horfrost Hollow. Alright. So. Let's go to the docks. Story progression. Here's a quick tour of the place. Alright. Oh. oh, it's the polar bear. I remember him. I think Kirsty did that to him. Like the the cut on his eye. I'm still trying to get used to her um, play style. Oh, I've learned my lesson here. Like. Don't go in there. Wait for them to come over here. Yeah, cause... I've gotten killed a couple of times there. Yeah. I believe it um, kills you instantly. It's just one hit. And you can survive if you have life flare, which is kind of like, um, what is it? It's like a skill that helps you survive from a critical hit.
yeah. I don't know. She's kind of hard to control for me. Like, I feel like she's a little slow. But I think it's because I'm using her incorrectly. So I need to find out exactly how to use her right. Like, is she just supposed to stand in one place? Because I know, like, with Eevee, you pretty much had to do that. Because she has her focus. Yeah, her focus keeps her um, in one place. And then her magic arrow. You can't move with that either. But just comparing it to other classes, let's say like Lon or somebody, Vela, <coughs> you can still move around when you're left clicking. So I don't know. She isn't very mobile or as mobile. Because you can move while you're, you're doing this. But I just feel like it's so slow. I don't know. And then when I when I do this, she does it super fast. So is that how I'm supposed to do it? And her right click doesn't really do like very significant damage, at least so far. Oh god, what is that? What did I just use? Okay... Oh, I also have this. I don't know. It's so confusing. Here's the quest item right here. Cunning out of knock X. Okay. Close this. Alright. What did you find? You describe everything you saw. Kobolds, a bear with red eyes. I've heard Kirsty talk about that bear. Kirsty? The huntress who runs the traveler shop? Yes, I remember her being pretty fiery about the whole thing. So there was a lot of cursing. What does the bear have to do with the kobolds? I suppose it couldn't hurt to find out what she knows. Shara, you've met Christy, right? She's... Why is your nose so red? Oh, dang it. Did I forget to teach you to make a campfire? Let's be frozen solid. Make sure to carry this campfire kit with you when you go anywhere. Once you get warmed up, go to go talk to Kirsty. We'll be waiting. Okay. All right. So the campfire. You can use the campfire anywhere on every map. It just gives buffs, right? Okay. Just got the hair pad. We get an outfit. Mercenary's signature outfit. That's level 20. Alright. I'm just gonna get some of these skills. What is that? Evades enemy attacks while retreating. While attacking the enemy with several spells. Okay. So it's like um, an escape sort of skill, or like kind of like a 
also has a counter attack, I guess. So what is it? Is it tab or space? Um, it's like she pressed space and then tab for the attacks. I'm gonna be fast for that. Alright. Oh, this is that block thing. Pull that up. This is the right click. This one. Oh, this is probably. Oh, this is a second attack. Or a second right click. Gotcha. So this is the first right click and this is the second right click. Okay. In level dodge. I was watching like a couple of Sharon videos on YouTube. And they seem to use this a lot, so it's expensive though. I'll just leave it at rank D for now. Need intelligence mastery. Maybe level to C. Yeah. Campfire. I think I can level up campfire. I'll just go ahead and level it up because it's quite cheap anyway. Standing endurance is helpful. Stamina mastery, just leave it there. Alright, I'll just leave that there for now. Here's a campfire. Okay. Here's Kirsty. The red-eyed bear, you saw it? I faced that foul creature twice. On the first meeting, I was weaponless and forced to flee. On, this, on our second meeting, the beast lug had not run out. My weapon broke upon its jaw and I had to retreat again. A cold glint enters Kersey's eyes. The next time we meet, be the last. Tell her about the cobalt you saw. In Horfrost Hollow? I can't say I'd like to meet the cobalt that chooses to stay with that beast. He's as territorial as they come. Maybe you'd better go back and see what you can find. But be quiet. It'd be wise not to rile that monster. Yeah, he does look really angry. There are two ways in. You can take the frozen western ice passage and risk losing your limbs to a bear attack. Or you could take the smart way and scale the southern rock cliff. Save your reports for the blades. I've got work to do. Right? Okay, what do we do? We gotta go to Southern Rock Cliff. What level are we? One more level for Red Roots. Turn that into Shayla. And then Alice and Gwen have Quests. Here's an event. I'll do that probably off camera later. Right. So. Let's go to Shayla first. Hey. Okay. 
Here is the axe. I don't understand mercenaries. You strive too hard to perfect your skills, yet when you finally reach the peak of your power, you burn out. And you care so little for wealth. It's always about power. Power with mercs. Well, money is power. Sheila studies you, eyes twinkling. But maybe you're different. I suppose time will tell. So why do you try so hard? I don't think it's for the money. I also don't think you'll get honor for following the Kofers chasers around. Maybe you just like me? Huh, I get that a lot. Here's the payment I promised. I'll have another request for you soon. Okay. Well, everybody is passionate about um, something different. It's what drives you. Like, money drives Shayla. Some other people, power drives them. It's like a sense of accomplishment, I guess. And it's different with every person. Alright, there's something I need. Remember the cobalt weapon you got for me? Well, my client was very pleased. Okay, so she wants another one. Oh, she wants a different one. So she wants a helmet this time. Okay. go to Alice, Alice and Gwyn. You're finally back. What did Christy tell you? Did you find out anything? Oh, okay. Sufficient supplies. I received an urgent message from the Royal Army. They are short on supplies. They requested support from all units. Since they need cloth, I'm collecting cloth. Bring me some and I will compensate you. Oh, we have a lot. Okay. Are you here to contribute cloth? Yes. Good work. The Royal Army appreciates your support. Okay. So, Ellis. Um, Gwyn, why do we have to fight against the Fulmars? How dare you ask such a question? Remember, you're merely a cadet. So why is it bad to ask a question? Isn't that, like, a good thing? I'm sorry, ma'am. Such a pushover. Oh my god. Ellis looks sullen and depressed. And he gets, like, so affected by it. Cadet Ellis, have you ever wondered why the Royal Army exists? We have only one reason to fight. Wipe out the Fulmars. Your blood will open the gates of Aaron. I guess Aaron is like heaven. Their version of heaven, like Valhalla for um, Norse mythology, I think. That's the goddess's prophecy. We are the sword of the pontiff's court, and the court believes in the goddess's prophecy without question. The court has commanded that we wipe out the Fulmars, and so we do. Frowns. Will the goddess return after we do? I don't know. I just do as I'm commanded. Why do you do it in the first place, anyway? If you, like, don't really believe in it. As a proud soldier of the royal army, do you understand? Oh. Something's kinda cut off. So she does it because she is proud to be a soldier. Gotcha. Sounds a bit difficult to me. I understand, however, you will soon understand my words when you become a knight in the near future. I don't understand it. If you still have a hard time understanding, go ask the oracle of this town for more details. Shar, would you help? Would you please take Alice to the oracle nap time? Oh, thank you. I really appreciate your help. Yeah, sure. Okay. What 
what brought you here today? Um, do you know why the royal army is fighting against the Fulmers? I couldn't say this to Quinn, but I think everything would be better if we made peace. True. I mean, I don't think you can make peace with the Fulmers if they want to kill everyone. But maybe with the Knolls, yeah. That's what I'm saying, like, I don't think we should attack them, but anyway. You seem to be a good person, cadet. Yeah, Ellis is... Ellis is too good of a person. Ellis's face turns red as he, as he scratches his head. Long ago, there was a Fumorian god named Alculus. He called upon thunder and flame to destroy the world. That humongous dragon was far too mighty to battle. Many lives were lost and the world fell into darkness and despair. Okay? But the goddess Morgan fought him, sealing herself to bind Alcalus and put him to sleep. Unfortunately, she herself fell asleep as well, losing her is why humanity can no longer access Eren. Okay? Before the goddess was sealed, she made one final promise and left three clues. Her promise that one day she would return after all the Fulmers were eradicated. Her three clues, Teve looks hesitant. Just know that one of them is in the oracles of the goddess. Like me. The oracles are one of the clues. The fact that the oracles can hear the goddess's voice is proof. Though, I have yet to hear the goddess's voice. That's all I can tell you about it. Did you find that helpful? That's one clue, but what's the other two? If you want to learn more about this, I recommend that you visit Bryn. Bryn might be able to give you a more in-depth analysis of Eren. Okay. Bryn. Interesting. Brings you here this time. Are you here to aggravate me once more? You ask Bryn about paradise. Are you talking about Aaron? I can't think of an adequate answer to your question since I've never seen paradise myself. An unverified hypothesis is only a hypothesis after all. According to legend, Aaron is a place without sorrow, pain, or hatred. No battles, no wars, so yeah, pretty much heaven. Furthermore, no one will suffer from disease, hunger, and death in Aaron. Everyone will have eternal life in Aaron. However, I'm not convinced you could call that a paradise. If you can't feel sorrow, do you ever feel joy? Huh. If there's no hatred, then could there be love? Paradise is more of a symbol. Don't try to understand a prophecy too literally. Is that... What does it mean to never die? Does that mean people won't weep and mourn? How about the absence of pain? defies rational understanding. We must look at it with a scientific eye. I feel clueless. Never mind. I didn't expect you to understand anyway. Oh, I totally understand. But at the same time, like, emotions, like, joy, pain, and suffering and all that shit, only humans can feel them. Or, like, our mortal bodies. So, once you go to heaven, then we're not humans anymore. We're just like a soul, so it's not really a matter of not knowing happiness because there's no sadness. It's a matter of like feeling complete and being at peace. I think that's what it is, like the idea of heaven is. And I know there are some beliefs where the soul chooses to go down to earth because they want to feel how a human is supposed to be like so yeah that's another point of view 
If you have nothing more to say, would you please leave me to my work? I'm very busy. Okay. Okay, what do I do? Mercenary outpost. Sarah? Oh. Good to see you back. How did everything go? Thank you. You went through so much trouble for me today. It was hard to follow, but I still learned a lot. Thank you so much for everything you've done. What? Hey. Okay. I thought we were supposed to talk to Sarah. I want to get rid of this so bad it's bothering me. Go to that real quick. Probably going to cut it out. Okay. So... Now we go to Southern Rock Cliff. Pretty two quest for the main story and a side quest for Shayla. Loud Ed and Okay. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Oh, nobody makes fun of me. Bullies me. Alright, story progress mode. No, I wish this would go away. Why do you have to ask it like every time? Or maybe because I have that coupon thing for the ticket in my inventory, but I don't think I can even use it. Because I already finished those stories. There's the second one. Okay, so I think if we're killing trash mobs, I think we should move around. And then when the boss is like down or something, that's when you can just stay in one spot and spam this right here because it's super fast. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Back then, this used to be closed off, I think, and then you had to, like, drop one of these. Shit. Why, why are they still here if, like, they're practically useless? Just for a decoration. Remember this thing, like, he disappears and shit. Oh, come on. Hey, that's not fair. I shot him. Yeah, so that happens. I'm upset about that. I don't know. Is that like hinting that I suck at this character? I normally like kill that guy. Unless it's like in the higher levels, I think it's kind of hard because they have like similar monsters. But this is like noob area and it's not even, it's on normal mode. It sucks. I don't know. 
actually is difficult. Like, difficult to use. What does that do? so hard to use, I swear. I'm having a hard time. I think it's her playstyle. Alright, you're finally back. You explain what kept you. What? You went up Southern Rock Cliff by yourself? Oh, reckless. I hope you at least learned something useful. Yeah, why do we keep doing that? We just keep going to places that we don't really get permission for. But I guess that's what makes us special because we have like the initiative to go do shit on our own. But I don't know. I like getting permissions and shit. You describe the forces you came across. At least they're just uncoordinated rabble. Can you imagine the devastation if a horde of kobolds that size actually got themselves organized? I'd better report this matter to my superiors. Okay. So, still useful. It's just I feel like, you know, I trust Aiden. And Merrick and Sarah, and I would definitely like confide with them first before I do anything. Oh, we got new armor right here. Look at this. I think that's all the skills. Oh, never mind, there's this one. What's this. What the hell? Right click, right click, right click, right click A. This shit is so confusing, I swear. It's so complicating. I mean, I just... I haven't played MMOs in a while. So... I'm still trying to get used to shit and... This is just so overwhelming. What is this? It's the block. Get that. I suppose get this one too. Organize this. Um, I'm gonna organize my inventory like off screen later. Here's Gallagher. What do you want? This is a unique object. You call yourself a treasure hunter, but you can't spot a deal. 
I have a lot of experience in appraising items. You're the one who's clearly out of his depth. I would wear something spiked and ominous where jewels and wedding bands should be, honestly. You know what? I'm out of here. I don't strike deals with idiots. Damn. Calgar storms out of the forge in a huff. Calgar is just outrageous. What's going on? Do something about your boss. He obviously picked up a random ring somewhere and thinks he can rip me off with it. My boss? My boss is Aiden. It's an odd piece, isn't it? Sure, the metal work is quite detailed, but who would ever wear such a sinister looking thing? And you're demanding such an exorbitant price. Don't take me for a fool. You forgot the ring here. Please take it back to your boss. I don't want to go around asking after him. As Shayla hands you the ring, feel a pang in your heart. What? What's wrong? I feel faint. Do you feel dizzy? This is unusual for you. You think you'd be doing better with rigorous training? I don't think that's it. What's causing it? The ring? What a fiendish bauble. Can keep it as far as I'm concerned. I thought it would fetch some real money. Where did I get the ring? Why, ask me that all of a sudden. Well... If you really want to know, it'll cost you. 500 gold, that is. <laughs> Alright, I'll tell you. I found it on the ground. Satisfied? What's with that face? I'm the one who should be frustrated. I thought I'd finally had some good luck for a change. Stupid ring, stupid beggar. A beggar? I've been at the dock. You remember that guy, Niall? I met a man who was dressed just like him. Something seemed fishy, and I don't mean the dog smell. <laughs> First of all, Niall rarely ventures forth from his lab. Second, who would walk around in, the, in this heat with that hood? Pretty suspicious, so I tailed him. Really? Shut up, can't you see I'm still talking? <laughs> anyway, the man was heading to the ruins of Sanctity by a boat. At one point, he withdrew his... At one point, he withdrew coins from his pocket to make payment. That's when the ring slipped out. I could tell he didn't notice, so I discreetly scooped out the ring. I hope to sell it at a hefty price. Don't ever reveal this to Niall. Why not? Are you a complete dunce? I couldn't see that man's face, for all I know, it was Niall. <laughs> Swear to God, Gallagher, slick ass. Rin. What is it? Are you looking for Niall? Have business with him? When did you two get so close? Well, he isn't here. It was him. So Niall was going to ruin the sanctity. So where is he? Want to know where he's headed? Sorry, but I don't know you well enough to talk about it. He's at ruins of sanctity. Come back later if you have business with him. That's all I'll say. Now seems to be away from his office. Maybe that was him on the boat going to the ruins of sanctity. Yes! Oh, I just remembered. The old man at the general store was looking for you. Riley? Yes, his name sounded something like that. He seemed to be interested in kobolds. Wait a sec. I thought, um, Riley was Bryn's, um... Uh, what is it? Bryn is Riley's apprentice or some shit like that. I wouldn't get involved if I were you, to be honest. I better get going. Bye. Oh, here it is. Yeah, he's lying. So you're here, my mercenary friend. Say, didn't you see some kobolds in Horfrost Hollow? You did, right? Odd. At least one of them must have a slingshot. Bring it to me now. Want to know how we worked that out? Well, that's a secret. So bring me that slingshot. I know you 
I know you will, right? We are friends. You love your friends. Sure. I will cry my heart out if you don't bring me one. Make it quick, okay? He acts like a kid, but I remember, like, he has a serious um, side to him. He seemed to be like a powerful um, magician. But I remember. Alright, so. Oh, I gotta go back to Shayla. I'm level 18, so we can actually go to Red Ruins. Okay. Here you go. Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. See ya. Okay, so we have a quest. Um, Gallagher and Gwyn, and they're both in here. First. Oh, it's that same same type of quest where she ask she'd ask us to get some sort of material. The main Fomorian forces are in Fobello Prairie, so the Cobalt and Horfrost Hollow are a secondary unit. Oh. I don't remember Fobello Prairie. Yet they have excellent supplies. How are they getting them? I need you to investigate. Bring me some of their supplies. Perhaps I can find a vital clue. What do you need? Cobalt cloth. Okay. Gallagher. Hey Rookie, you got some free time? Not really. It's for that face. Did I offend you by calling you Rookie? Don't be such a snob. You're still a Rookie. Always. <laughs> always will be. Hey Rookie. You've been to Horfrost Hollow, right? Did you see a kobold that drinks potions over there? Some potions made it way too spry while the other potions made it frantic. Perhaps I can sell them for good money. Want to do some business with me? Okay. Did you give it some thought? I'm sure you've never had such a great offer. Oh god. Made a smart decision. You can meet that cobalt here. Go get me those potions. Make sure to bring me one of each, okay? We can definitely sell them for boatloads. What happened? I thought there was another quest. Whatever. Okay. So... So I'm just gonna do Red Ruins for last and then I'll do these other ones next time. Wait. Oh, Perilous Ruins. Red Ruins. Okay. This place looks cool though. It's night time. It didn't look like this last time. So I think they actually upgraded the graphics. 
and like a lot of the maps look a lot different actually Werewolves. Don't burn yourself. Is stronger and bigger. I mean, their eyes are red, but it doesn't mean they're being controlled. Is it? Jesus. Okay. Here we go. It's weird though because um it's like there's a cooldown like I can't just spam this I can't just spam I don't know but I'm, I'm doing it right now so what the hell okay this one and doing it now. I guess I'm learning. I guess I was pressing like a directional key. Yeah, it works now. Okay. I'm trying to get the hang of it. hard to me. There's a bird pot back here. Near outpost, turn this in. Here we go. My scouts have already reported in. He's gone for good this time, yes? On your head. Excellent. Finish your report and go get some rest. Quinn turns and leaves the mercenary outpost. Well done. It must have been a brutal fight. Sierra sighs heavily. Does this trouble you? 
Yes, all this fighting just seems so unnecessary. Why is the royal army so eager to fight? I understand how you feel, but our opponents are fomards. I cannot hope to understand them so easily. I assure you, they consider all of us enemies. This is not a forced conflict. Say so. And Sarah, forget about what Gwyn said earlier. Oh? I know you're a reliable mercenary. I would be proud to have you at my side in any battle. It's nice. You remain here at the mercenary outpost because that's where I need you most. Same goes for you, Shar. Never let anyone belittle your skills. You're mercenaries. Damn fine mercenary. Aiden, thank you. Well done, both of you. Now go get some rest. Such a good captain. You know what? He reminds me of, um, Erwin from Attack on Titan. Kinda. I get, like, the same vibe. You guys have seen that. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Next time, we're gonna go to Western Ice Passage and get some cobalt cloth and get these potions for Gallagher. See you guys on the next video.